Hi, I'm Dominic Harland from GB Labs. Thank you very much for taking the time to learn a bit more about us today. Um, GB Labs has been um, man manufacturing central storage systems for the media entertainment industry for the last 10 to 15 years. And we're very pleased today to be talking about our new product called Unify Hub. And to put that into perspective, um, the last 10 years or so, we've been perfecting central storage for on-prem. And up until, I guess, the start of this year, everyone's been working very efficiently in an office environment. And that's been um, fabulous collaboration so that you could all work together at, at supreme speed. And, and that has really been the whole industry's focus. Obviously, with 2020 coming around, um, there's been a few issues with that. The data in your office is effectively now a prison, which is more difficult to attend and get to your assets. And um, really what, what Unify does is it allows you to smash down those walls and from wherever you are, access just like you did in 2019, your data and gives you the workflow and the availability of your assets uh, in a way that you're used to doing. So we're not asking you to change the way you're working. You're not having to um, buy a whole load of extra equipment for this. Um, this leverages your existing infrastructure it allows you to use standard laptops, um, it allows you to use your existing VPN, um, and it doesn't tax your internet connections excessively. It has a very smart way of making sure that your remote users have the essential footage that they're working on at any given time. And given a reasonable drive locally, that provides them with a, an on-prem performance. Um, that all sounds great, but the real key to it is that it really keeps the synchronization of your, all of your data automatically. As many of you have probably found, remote working's biggest headache is tracking and tracing all of the data that you've sent out of your office, comes back to your office, and, and having that whole nightmare of dealing with, it, with that. So without further ado, uh, we're just going to show you a quick video to give you a taster of what we're going to be covering in the presentation. Remote working is now the key to productivity and the need to keep your post-production team serviced with assets has created some difficult methods of media distribution, sacrificing efficiency of time, compromising security and creating confusion. So how can you get the control and quality of service of the in-office situation with the flexibility of remote resources? Unify Hub brings managed access for your team members both in and outside the office, making the production team feel like they are seamlessly collaborative. The Unify Hub software is designed to bring an end to multiple logins and duplication of data. Unify Hub creates managed access and visibility to many cloud storage services through a single sign-on. Data and content accessed by any users is cached to a central storage, meaning faster access for all users. Cloud services can be leveraged more efficiently as Unify manages data so that it can be accessible on central storage and negating the need for much of the associated cloud storage services. Key to remote working is the Unify Hub virtual workspace capability. Sharing large amounts of unmanaged content remotely consumes unnecessary home and office bandwidth. Unify Hub allows relevant content to be assigned to remote users quickly and easily. Users save time not searching through complex file structures and can access content more efficiently. Unify Hub is available as a turnkey appliance that's going to simplify, revolutionize and ultimately unify all aspects of media. In order to just tell you a bit more about it, I'm just going to um, sort of set the scene of where, where we've come from from this. So in the beginning, um, you know, if we rewind the clock sort of 15, 20 years or so ago, um, and we have a look at how we worked in those times. So we would typically have a central uh, video production workstation, and that was the hub, if you like, of where everything happened. Uh, around that, you'd probably have um, a graphics workstation, maybe an audio system, and all of those would operate uh, with data that would be copied from or to that main unit. And the problems really with this is obviously it's quite slow, you've got to wait for data to copy, 
you'd have to uh, you'd, you'd obviously have duplication so the data would be would be uh, re resident on the main system be resident on whatever drive like a SCSI drive that you're transporting the data around on and it would be resident on your graphics or your audio suites as well and actually ironically that would create a higher risk of data loss and the reasons for that is that everyone assumes that everybody else has all of that data so when you need to clear off some of your data or your system's getting full the first thing we all do is search for the biggest files yeah I don't need this one don't need this one don't need this one and actually by doing that we are all by default choosing the same files that we're now deleting and data loss invariably happens plus if you don't know where your data is or how many copies of it how can you be certain where it is and that will invariably lose to a loss of it and because you don't know where it is that also leads to poor security a very hot topic up until uh, the start of 2020 was security everybody needs to know where their footage is um, obviously footage can be stolen on on USB devices and people want to know where that is and if you don't know where it is then you can't be secure with that and the big problem with this as you can see from the picture here is that if we changed from one to two or to ten video production suites this exponentially becomes a bigger and bigger problem so not scalable at all so um, moving on to um, where we are today okay so up until fairly recently we had it pretty nailed um, we had central storage be it a NAS or a SAN uh, variety where we could all work from and the important things of that is that really it gives everybody instant access to their files and more importantly that's one set of data so if I were to um, be using a file and make changes to that file everybody else sees those changes straight away and that's really important not to get things out of sync because if I was to change something and somebody else wasn't to see that change was unaware of it then they might also change the same thing whether that's a file name or a directory name and that can create many problems with knock-on effects um, it's very efficient having central storage we only need one copy of our data and it's also very secure we can only access it with usernames and passwords therefore we, we know where our data is and we need a, a credentials to get into it it's also a highly scalable system as well we can simply add more users and the only thing that we're arguably bound by is the ultimate performance of the, the central storage system okay so moving on to the present day and really I would argue that we've probably gone back to where we were 15 20 years ago and um, what do I mean by that well instead of having one production suite that where it was your main hub really what we've got now is our head office has effectively replaced that island of storage if you like so um, all the bits and pieces are in there and they're, they're functioning how they were in, in 2019 but right now we've kicked all the staff out and they're all trying to work from from home and the problem with that is that they don't have uh, the internet connections are not fast enough to work with uncompressed 4k for example or many video formats for that matter and so we're right back to having the problems of, of different islands that need to have the data so we need to um, copy that off either by the internet or onto a USB drive we take it home so now we're back to having data duplication we've got high risk of data loss for the same reasons as before our security is appalling to put it bluntly um, it now seems um, completely acceptable to literally courier an unprotected USB drive around the world and nobody seems to bat an eyelid right now um, and obviously this is particularly non-scalable so the more home workers we have the more uh, clouds that we introduce into this the worse the problem gets Unify Hub answers these problems in five separate areas um, we have the Unify Hub cloud mounts we has an acceleration side to it it can act as a, an S3 endpoint um, it can give you fantastic remote working which is really the nuts and bolts of what everybody wants right now and it enhances that with something which we call virtual workspaces so let's have a look at, at those points now Unify Hub's cloud mounts this is basically allowing you to uh, take your existing 
on-prem storage and any of your cloud services or cloud storages that you are currently using and effectively make them all work together. And what it's doing is it's allowing you to connect to your cloud uh, services or storage and they are then um, brought into Unify Hub and they're represented out as uh, SMB mount points. And that allows them to uh, work uh, seamlessly with all of your on-prem bits and pieces. So whether that's your um, editing suites, whether it's anybody within your organization that needs to access uh, that data, or indeed whether it's for your existing storage system to be able to see and interact in some way with your with your cloud solutions as well. Um, and why is this important? Well, by presenting as SMB to your uh, with anybody within your um, organization, it means that they can use their existing uh, credentials. So their existing usernames and passwords can be replicated within Unify Hub and they can be used to access these devices as well. And this actually means that as opposed to the cloud being a separate thing or, or potentially something that uses a different set of credentials that, that brings um, problems with how we should all use that together, it actually brings it all together and unifies it um, so that we can all play with cloud stuff, on-prem stuff all together. And, and this is an important thing if you are using cloud and it also means that the following points become uh, relevant for cloud as, as well as your on-prem stuff. So the second point that Unify Hub can deliver is acceleration. What do we mean by that? Well, obviously at the moment with internet connections, they're nowhere near the performance that you're used to from your traditional SAN or NAS. In fact, they're probably no more than a tenth the speed and possibly a hundredth of the speed. And that is troublesome to say the least. Um, what Unify Hub does is it basically uses um, our uh, acceleration technology which we pioneered about five years ago for our hyperspace product and what that does is it effectively takes a slow storage medium and it uses fast SSDs to accelerate that in a unique way that's actually very useful for media professionals and why I say that is that traditional caching or, or acceleration systems that you find in normal IT very much don't work for media workflows. So it's, it's very important that we, we took this approach to accelerate uh, anything that's mounted from the cloud into Unify Hub. And this has multiple advantages. Not only does it mean that for regularly used files, the experience um, of people using um, these files is, is just the same as if they're using on-prem storage, but it also um, means that it actually saves you a lot of bandwidth on your internet because you're not having to re-download those files over and over again as you keep using them. And clearly if we're not having to re-download the footage over and over again and it's been served out from Unify Hub's accelerated SSD area, that's also going to save us egress fees as well um, from whatever the, the cloud uh, storage or service is that you're using. So to summarise, acceleration not only saves you a huge amount of time, it can save you money as well. Unifier Hub's Advantage 3 is what we call S3 Endpoint. And this can be a little bit confusing. Um, S3 is Amazon's name of their um, cloud storage, but it's also the name they give to their protocol. And the protocol S3 is really what all of the cloud services and storages communicate with. It's like a common language for anybody working or any, any cloud uh, service or storage to communicate with itself. And this is really um, a separate language that we would normally expect computers to talk on-prem. They would be using something like SMB or, a, or maybe a block level if they're using a SAN format. So what this allows you to do is effectively bridge your existing on-prem storage and make that available as an S3 mount point is the easiest way to think about it. And the advantage of this is it allows you to use your existing infrastructure and use that in whole or in part uh, as a as a point that other cloud bits and pieces can utilize now that means it saves you having to buy more cloud storage but more importantly um, it saves you having to duplicate your footage from both 
on-prem into a cloud storage so that other things can then access it because that means it's more difficult to trace and that means you have the same issues with the security and the um, potential loss of data if you don't know where things are. Remote working. This is probably the most important part uh, today uh, of what Unify Hub will bring to you and the advantages on it. And this has been a real struggle um, for a lot of a lot of companies that I've spoken to. Um, there's really a couple of ways that people are currently solving remote working and, and really it is a case of either grab a USB or firewire drive, whatever you're using these days, and take that data home. And as we covered at the start, that has all the problems of the islands of storage. And the other way, which is um, I've seen people try and tackle the problem, is, is to effectively do a um, remote dial-in of some description um, into their office so that they can control their workstations in the office. And, and this can work. Um, it's not without issue. There's usually some pretty specific hardware requirements. And the elephant in the room is not only do you need to buy a client license of some description, you also need to buy another computer to, to put that on. And that means running all the computers in your office and buying additional product as well. So there's not really a, a one size fits all or there's not really a solid overall um, solution for this right now, which is, which is really why this is so key. And the Unify Hubs Remote Working does not aim to necessarily replace these methods. It, it can work in conjunction and certainly complement them, or you could use it in its entirety to solve the problem as well. And there are um, a few bits to it, so please bear with me. Um, so from a user perspective, literally they sit on their workstation, they use the um, client software, they connect to the Unify Hub um, back in your office, and they can then just start working. The systems are automatically uh, kept in sync with each other, so they don't need to worry about um, when they save save something. They don't have to um, worry about when they sync it back. It's all handled completely automatically, and it can even use an accelerated area on the workstation, whether that's the local disk or an external drive, to provide them with far faster performance than their internet connection alone will give them and that's intelligently managed as well. So my biggest challenge is probably trying to communicate that this really is just like working in the office. It gives you the same experience of working in the office, it's just that you have these people in different locations. And what that means is that you still have one true set of data. You don't have the duplication, you don't have the security issues, you don't have all of the problems associated typically with remote working. And it's extremely simple to manage. In fact, most of it is self-managing. It's very scalable and extremely flexible. You can set different people up with different sets of data and they can operate from down the road to the other side of the world. The fifth and final part of Unify Hub is virtual workspaces. And this is a really important part to make the whole system extremely usable. And effectively what it does is that um, if you think about your on-prem storage today, you may well have large chunks of data. And whilst you've got uh, people in your building, you would perhaps just allow them to see and search through those large chunks of data. Now clearly, if you're a remote worker and you're needing to find something, that is not the ideal scenario. So what virtual workspaces allows you to do is very simply, you can go through as administrator, you can choose the things uh, that you want to be able to show to your uh, remote workers and effectively instantly make those available to them. And this saves you having to reorganize your existing uh, infrastructure within your building. And it also means that you don't need to just simply copy extra stuff uh, for what they need to then share that out. Virtual workspaces allow you to choose the essential files that your remote workers need to use today. And that means that you can really cut down the amount of information which they need, which makes it a lot, a lot simpler and a lot quicker for them to get working on your projects straight away. In summary, there's, there's really, I guess, two halves to Unify Hub. There's 
the half that deals with all of the, the cloud bits and pieces, which some people are using and, and many people are not using yet, but at least it's there for the future for you. And probably the more pressing, timely part of Unify Hub is for your remote working. It simply allows everybody to work in the way that you were used to working, but from different locations, and gives you all the tools to allow you to work really quickly and really efficiently. Well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time and listening to the presentation. So hopefully you should be a little bit more informed about um, Unify Hub and, and hopefully it makes sense. Um, if you do have any further questions, um, we're here today with um, Gary from GDS. Uh, his details are below. And please do feel free to reach out to him and he can um, make sure that you get the information that you require. Um, and don't forget, the Unify Hub is not only suitable for um, post-production workflows. It can be used with animation as well as um, effects type work as well. Um, and it's not only suitable for uh, people who are within the same town. Don't forget that Unify Hub can reach out and, and work anywhere in the world really. So if you have a problem whereby you haven't got enough people to complete your projects close to you and you're trying to source people um, from Vancouver to maybe from Los Angeles or from New Zealand even, then Unify Hub can help you solve those issues as well. So thank you very much again for taking the time. I'm Dominic Harland and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.